Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Many of us would have seen the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Terminator, which I really loved. For those who have not seen the movie series, the plot starts with a cyborg machine coming back in time from the year 2029 to 1984 to kill a woman. The machines want the woman terminated because her yet to be born son would lead an uprising against the machines in the year 2029 when they are ruling over earth mind you the first movie of this really successful franchise released in the year 1984 with four more sequels made on the theme when the original movie released the concept of machines taking over the world would have seemed quite far fetched and we could dismiss the movie as good science fiction as they say life is at times stranger than fiction now when the terminator genesis released in 2015 the concept is not all that far fetched in fact the jury is out on whether such an eventuality could actually happen and some very credible authorities are saying that it is only a matter of time Just imagine a world in which human beings are slaves not of other humans but human looking machines according to world renowned physicist and cosmologist Stephen Hawking robots powered by artificial intelligence could possibly take over humans as the most powerful species on earth in another 100 years he says that this is inevitable and we as humans need to ensure that their goals are aligned to ours if we want them to remain subservient to the human race in an earlier conference in december 2014 he had also warned that machines powered by full artificial intelligence could potentially lead to the end of the human race he explained that machines could redesign themselves at an ever increasing rate and humans limited by slow biological evolution will not be able to keep pace with them hawking's thoughts are also echoed by elon musk the ceo and founder of electric car maker tesla motors at a conference at mit he mentioned this as the existential threat to mankind and said that with artificial intelligence or ai we are indeed summoning the demon Musk had once tweeted that AI is potentially more dangerous than nukes. He strongly advocates the need for regulatory oversight at national and international level over development of AI. Of course, this point of view is not shared by all members of the scientific and tech community. Andrew Moore of Carnegie Mellon University says that Musk's concerns are not entirely invalid but adds that it is a remote and far in the future danger which we need to think about he says that when we are close to building that super intelligent and powerful computers we need to stop and figure out what we are doing the role of ai today varies from performing basic tasks to playing a role in complicated modern warfare when i say basic tasks i mean stuff like filtering spam email google map service or recommending restaurants or movies at the same time artificial intelligence in its present form is also used extensively in certain areas like for defusing bombs improvised explosive devices carrying equipment on the war front surveillance and reconnaissance missions it is expected that in future unmanned ground vehicles will amass knowledge plan learn spoken languages perceive threats and corroborate with other robots recently in the month of july 2016 there was a shootout at a rally in dallas and the dallas police were reluctant to put more cops in harm's way to end the bloody episode so they sent in a robot an explosive ordnance disposal robot carrying a small quantity of c4 explosive rolled into the building where the suspect was lodged detonated the explosive thereby killing the suspect that was apparently the first time the american police used a robot 
to deliver lethal force. Although killer robots have been used for a while now in battlefield in form of aerial drones, most of the scientists agree that we need to develop a system that humans can control. Some of them believe that having a machine that is evil and taking over humans will not happen without us allowing it. But again, it might take only one scientist to go rogue and create something that can willfully harm humans. And that is what is most scary. When a robot decides whether to save you or exterminate you in a hostage, hijack or a terror situation, it raises obvious ethical considerations. And if it goes wrong, who do we take to court? The Terminator perhaps. One can also argue that the amount of money going into making smart weapons can be used to solve many of the world's problems like poverty and hunger. Irrespective of whether machines indeed take over the world and replace humans as the predominant species or not, they will definitely have a major impact on our future. It is quite inevitable that machines will replace a significant chunk of existing jobs in factories and other workplaces. Automatic robots are already working in several manufacturing industries including complex automotive plants and they don't need to be paid a salary or fat bonuses for their hard work. A research paper from Bank of America Merrill Lynch said that up to 45% of all manufacturing tasks would be automated in a decade from the present levels of 10%. A recently opened hotel in Nagasaki, Japan was the first to be staffed by humanoid robots. We also recently read about Mark Zuckerberg, the Facebook founder, having developed a new housemate, Jarvis, an artificial intelligence assistant that can control appliances, play music, recognize faces and also entertain his toddler. Jarvis, named after the AI system in the movie Iron Man, understands spoken commands as well as text messages. Another area where AI will be used in a big way is transportation. We already know about the driverless cars of Google, with automakers and tech companies racing to get the first self-driving car on the road artificial intelligence has to come to play in a major way especially in situations where driverless cars will be required to understand complex traffic scenarios in urban environments like city streets and busy intersections we have many moving objects that automated and driverless cars must recognize and react to in an appropriate way ai will help future cars to anticipate the intentions of other road users but fully comprehending these demanding traffic contexts will be a supreme challenge for AI. But eventually, it will make traffic safer and more efficient. There was a recent news piece about a self-driving truck making its first commercial delivery run in the US. It carried thousands of cases of beer to a depot in Colorado Springs. The automated vehicle took to the open road as a part of a deal between the brewers of Budweiser and Uber. Clearly, this increased levels of automation will have a serious impact on employment levels. John Keynes, the great British economist of the 20th century, once predicted that leaps in technology will indeed bring in a lot of leisure and abundance, but will also cause technological unemployment. No technology will automate away more jobs than the driverless truck I just mentioned. In the US alone, it is estimated that truck driving is the most common job in 29 states. The loss of jobs due to driverless trucks can be 1% of the entire US workforce, which will be a devastating blow to the economy. And the adverse consequences won't just end there. Gas stations, highway diners, rest stops, motels and other businesses catering to the drivers will struggle to survive without them. It is not merely the repetitive manual jobs that are under threat, but several complex ones too. Computers have evolved from beating chess world champions to beating the brightest minds in the game show Jeopardy and have teamed up with oncologists to develop a system to diagnose cancer. 
Andy Haldane, chief economist in the Bank of England, warned that 15 million UK jobs could be lost to automation within two decades and said that policymakers need to come up with imaginative response to tackle this looming problem of keeping humans gainfully employed. It is believed that the world population is now odds on to swell higher for the rest of the century, posing great challenges for food supplies and healthcare. We are on course to touch 11 billion people in the year 2100 from the 7.5 billion it is today. With a burgeoning population and decreasing jobs due to automation and artificial intelligence, where will it all lead to? We might see extreme income disparity with the rich getting even more richer and hundreds of millions of middle class and poor sections of the society chasing too few jobs that still require humans. The fallout will be war crime, poverty and hunger. Of course, there would always be a lot of roles that machines may not be capable of taking over, especially those that require imagination and judgment. But who knows? There might someday be a famous YouTuber who is not a human. Do you think it will happen? Tell me your opinion in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing from the audience. It is fairly clear that we have just scratched the tip of the iceberg on AI and we are going to see far reaching changes in the future as the AI puzzle unravels. Some of which will bring positive benefits to mankind while some others will have an adverse impact. I do hope that you have found this video useful. If so, could you please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.